Welcome back to another podcast from Traxel. I'm Thomas Hammond. And uh, during this time of uh, the holiday season, we want to uh, share with you a couple of learnings from all the postings and all the communications on the Traxel uh, website uh, and chats. Uh, we are really interested in seeing how many of you are sharing the various uh, types of uh, multiple sclerosis uh, that you are suffering. And it is indeed really important and hopefully Traxel can help you shape uh, the specifics of your condition and make you aware of what questions to ask and how to interface and what kind of uh, things to expect when you are interacting with your healthcare providers. Multiple sclerosis is very diverse and complex and that's why we so much uh, are looking forward to developing this uh, tracking uh, tool and ability for you to monitor yourself and share your experiences with one another. We're very open to feedback and so please uh, keep on posting. Uh, be aware that uh, we are looking at it and uh, we're learning a lot as we go. As a new company, we are uh, developing uh, our approach uh, in a most uh, patient-centric fashion and so learning from our patients, learning from uh, uh, you out there is really critical. There is no right answer to how to provide the best way to track uh, a, disease, uh, a condition such as uh, multiple sclerosis. And so today uh, we just wanted to make a brief uh, uh, moment to acknowledge the various forms of multiple sclerosis and those of you in the uh, chat rooms uh, can see that uh, not everybody has the same experience but most certainly if we just get enough uh, uh, patients with multiple sclerosis onto our platform we surely will find uh, people that share their experiences uh, and then find what they experience in others once uh, validating their own experiences and hopefully getting help uh, from others. Uh, very frequently we see uh, patients uh, report that uh, they have relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis and uh, many of you know of course what that means but for those who don't it is basically the fact that uh, the immune system um, in your brain is active and it causes uh, a relapse and then as it heals it remits but unfortunately frequently then relapses again. So what that often means is that you may experience uh, a complaint such as uh, dizziness or weakness and it gets better with time as the um, uh, immune system uh, relaxes a little bit and uh, very many medications out there are targeting this and so knowing about this uh, is very important uh, monitoring yourself, uh, communicating to your healthcare providers uh, when you experience certain episodes can guide them to find the best uh, treatment approach for you. Oftentimes uh, patients may only have one single episode. Uh, this is the clinical isolated syndrome. There's lots of uh, research going in and so very important to be aware if you hear someone has this like someone has an episode where the vision in one eye became blurry mysteriously and then may have resolved or someone had one episode of a neurological complaint uh, diagnostic tools such as MRI and careful neurological evaluations can help uh, distinguishing uh, certain conditions from this we call clinically isolated syndrome. Another form of MS is when the relapsing remitting uh, becomes a more progressive uh, condition. And that is also important. Uh, uh, and we believe that, uh, again, tracking how your disease interacts with uh, certain environments, uh, with uh, uh, diet, activity, medication, and such can help you and your providers better understand if and when your condition may move from the relapsing to the more progressive state. And lastly, there is a condition uh, of multiple sclerosis where it starts and is progressive without ever having uh, real uh, uh, remissions. And that's the primary progressive uh, form of multiple sclerosis. And your providers may have used these terms. 
if you are engaging with us on uh, the platform, hopefully you can uh, find others to uh, experience these kind of conditions and uh, learn more what it means. Uh, primary progressive multiple sclerosis for many years had no good uh, treatment, but there are now treatments uh, available in many countries. Uh, so knowing about this and uh, helping to understand this better can help you ask the right questions and find providers that can guide you to those uh, th uh, therapies and hopefully help you have a better life. So this and the many things uh, we hope to guide uh, you through and help you with. Uh, we know it's been a long time waiting and uh, we know a lot of you eagerly await for us to roll out uh, more concrete tools to help you track your condition and believe me, our team has been relentlessly working. So while we are all away during the COVID period, we have not stopped working on this. And this is our mission at TrackCell to provide those tools to you. But we want to do it right. And so hopefully very soon in an, uh, early next year, you'll see this coming. Uh, we'll have more podcasts about that. And um, if you, for example, had a specific topic that you would like us to mention or discuss, please share this with us. Um, uh, we'll post our socials here, our emails, and hope to see you soon. Again, this is Thomas Hammond for Traxel.